So I thought why not do a morning routine, so I'm up. It is seven-ish. <laughs> I don't go to work so this afternoon, but this is just what I do almost every morning. So I'm gonna use the restroom and I will see y'all in a bit. They just lay all of their hair supplies and etc. everywhere. So I organized everything from, well, everything is hair, but it's like body supplies, hair products, hair ties, and etc. So this is what I have down below. So I don't like mess. Like I cannot stand mess, right? And I wanted everything to look cohesive. First of all, this is another head wrap, so I wasn't gonna like combine it with my stuff. But yeah, so I have what you have hair products, right? Hair ties, hair clips, etc. Boom, makeup bag. And so what is in here? Yeah, so you got nair. You just got things that you really need, okay? Toothpaste, nair, tongue scraper, peels, hand sanitizer, boom, right? And then down here is like what it's just etc. stuff. So what I have like nails, more toothpaste, things if I need it, hair ties, etc. So that's how I organize this part. Like even though, um, and then I have this for my hair, but even though um what was I say? Like even though I live here, I don't have to use a caddy. But I just feel like I'm gonna get my use out of it because <laughs> When I bought it for school, I used it, what, for two years? And then I'm here in this program, so it's just like, might as well use it. It's like my essentials for in the morning. So boom. So boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So what have you up to? Basically, what happened? I went to Hollywood Studios, y'all. I went to Hollywood Studios and I drove Tower of Terra, Slinky Dog, and Rock and Roller Coaster. <laughs> took me out. I did not know those rides were so hectic, but took me out. I need to go back to uh, Magic Kingdom so I can see Happily Ever After one more time because I know it's ending. And yeah, you go to Woody's Toy Box and Hollywood Studios, Get the brisket sandwich. It's so good. It's like a nice brisket with pickle and cheddar cheese. And you know me, if you know me, I don't even like cheddar cheese like that. I was eating, I had a park solo day. I was eating and I was like, oh my God, this is so delicious. This is so delicious. But, um, but yeah. But after I went to Hollywood Studios, this was what? Wednesday, after I went to Hollywood Studios and I rode on crazy rides, I sat in the car in an hour to be a part of somebody's podcast. Um, his name is Harley. He's an ASU alumni. And he has a podcast called Growing Hands. And we just spoke about entrepreneurship, mental health, and things of that nature. So when that comes out, check it out. Before I do anything, I don't know, I always feel like I need to use the restroom and wash my face. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah. That's just wiping the crust off. But I don't know how to use it. They say you should pat over like scrubbing your face, but I mean, I'm no um, I'm no face skin person, so I don't know what's best. All I know is bumps and all that doesn't. They don't really. I don't really care if I have bumps and stuff like that. But they say 
They say to pat. So the child, we gonna pat. So I just pat all that craziness off, right? They say toothpaste and alcohol is bad for your skin. And there are some people that are like, it just rubs all the excess craziness off. So we're gonna see if I have any extra like stuff laying around. Nice, it just feels so cool. And I let it sit and I'm gonna put cocoa butter on my face. That's what I do every morning, like, I like I don't miss it. Cause it's just something about, <clears throat> it's just something about feeling refreshing. So, just a little, so. cocoa butter. I'll probably do shea butter, but cocoa butter, cool. Each morning. I feel like it's very important to scrub your tongue. Cause that's where a lot of the bad breath comes from, is that. So, if y'all know, if y'all know me, look. I know I'm doing a teeth whitening and stuff, but with teeth whitening, boom, boom. You gargle with one, and you put one of the supplements on like your retainer type of thing. Just put it in, and you let it sit for like, what? I let it mine sit for like 10, 15 minutes. And then you'll just see a result, and I've been doing that. What, you do it twice a week, and then some days I'll go over it with my pen. I'll go over it with my pen. I use the pen almost every day, not every day. Like, I'll do it after work, because it's just something about feeling amazing when you just go to sleep. You just feel good, like you did a lot and you accomplished a day. Did a key. So yeah. You can brush your teeth too, but that took two seconds. All right, my face is feeling a little dry now because of the what's it call it. So boom, 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 boom. This is perfume. I just put some on like my collarbone and stuff. Cause I just don't wanna smell nasty. Smell weird. You know, I like I want to sleep. I go to I wash myself when I go to sleep. So. Then I'm gonna clean up my area. Alright, so, yeah. So, this is a diffuser that I got at Target. It matches with my little onions. And I love everything about it, honestly. And then I'll probably switch these around. Just so we can have a nice smell in here. So I definitely got this one at Target, and then I got these at Target too. So this is like $8, so it's like $15, so boom. Even though I'm putting it right back in it, I make it up in a sense, and then I hop right back in, because I don't go to work till this afternoon. And I like being in my room, so. Now I'm about to make my morning cup of coffee. Sometimes I vary. Today we're gonna do hot coffee. Yesterday I did cold coffee. I did like a nice little macchiato. So today we're gonna do hot coffee and I'm gonna show y'all how to do my little hot coffee. Okay, so I have my Keurig one. Keurig one. This is my roomies. This is mine. Share this. This is another roomie. She does purify water, which is understandable because in Florida, the water is a little eh eh. So, Got my Starbucks breakfast blend, my cup. This is the creamer of my choice. My water, vanilla, you know, I have a little taste. And then I do sugar cubes. I feel like it's a little less messier. And then I put everything in the coffee cup before I let everything come in, if that makes sense. Tell me which Met Gala looks y'all like, because for me, it was Kendall Jenner. It was Yara Shahidi. And Chloe and Hallie, duh. Like, everyone else was a little skeptical. That's just what I want right now. 
and around like 12 I'll probably or 11 I'll probably make like grits or something because I don't want to I don't want a hot breakfast this morning hmm. usually I'll cook usually I'll do like turkey bacon eggs grits or oatmeal but if I'm waking up this early then it's just fruit and coffee and then around 12 I'll probably make like like lunch I was about to say breakfast no oh, no lunch so so I haven't heard it the monitor what is it the Montero album but when I tell you that man has did marketing so well I I don't care what anybody say. What I'm learning more in life to better myself and fulfill myself and my happiness is less judgment. Like, I, to the point where what human beings want to do is what they want to do, etc. <clears throat> et my way is not always the right way. And it is what it is. And I can say a lot of people don't like Lil Nas, but Lil Nas has X. But dude is a marketing, whoever is his PR team, they're marketing geniuses. And I know, like, some straight men are like cringing over the fact that he pretended to be like this pregnant woman for his baby of his album but it was so genius and then if y'all saw the actual like Montero show he was doing a countdown like how 106 and Park would do like a countdown but it was like a, a old school 50s talk show or whatever and he was playing himself in all the characters and he posted it right 10 minutes before his actual album drop so in those 10 minutes of a span time you got to see his favorite like his least of his favorite music video and they showed like clips and they talked about it so it was just building up to the actual drop of the album and the new song and the new music videos like i felt like it was genius i felt like it was genius like no one's done it before because a lot of people were nervous or nervous to do something like that or it's just never been thought of because he takes it pretty far, but I thought it was genius. I really did think it was genius. I ain't got nothing against dude. I thought it was genius, so, so yeah. But all right, y'all, so let me show y'all this before I go. I just wanted y'all to see this. <laughs> nothing major, but I just wanted to come and bring to your attention that we are having a 25% off everything we into swim for our end of summer sale. And should get to it because i have some great shorts for men these were super popular over the summer and it's like now is your time to grab it at a decent price right so yeah tell a friend and tell a friend and lean into swim for 25 percent off because we have to bring the sweats back the crew necks back because that's what everyone loves everyone desired and yeah we have to make room to put my sweatshirts back y'all so go ahead, 25% off Lean Into Swim. Just go ahead to go to leanintolounge.com and go to the Lean Into Swim collection. So yeah, thanks y'all.